I am Snigdha Bharadwaj, Assistant Professor ITS College of Pharmacy. I welcome you all in my session. So, in our last session, we have started uh, reaction kinetics. So, and uh, we have discussed basic fundamentals of reaction kinetics and factor affecting rate of reaction. In this particular session, we will be talking about rate laws, reaction orders in detail. So, let us get started. So, basically reaction kinetics in chemistry the amount unit may vary, but it is often in moles. So, uh, in our last lecture also uh, you must remember uh, you must have remembered that we uh, talk about concentration in moles. So, in chemistry uh, moles per liter, moles and molarity grams or even liters we usually analyze the concentration in these units. So, rate of chemical reaction are most often measured as mole per second molarity per second, because the rate uh, is uh, giving you the uh, value per unit time right the concentration change in concentration per unit time. So, re reaction kinetics basically uh, uh, are analyzed uh, with these uh, uh, units like moles per second molarity per seconds. So, first we will talk about rate law. So, for any general reaction occurring at a fixed temperature like A. So, in our last session these uh, small alphabets represent the coefficients value right. So, for product A, so A will be coefficient in the reaction for product B or reactant B. Uh, so, A plus B. So, these are reactants and will give you the product C and D. So, along with that coefficient values are there. So, the term K is a rate constant rate of reaction. So, it is a constant uh, basically which is a specific for a given reaction at a given temperature. So, basically the rate of reaction is very specific at the temperature it is uh, getting reacted. The exponents m and n are, so basically it can be represented as rate is equal to k rate of reaction, reaction constant basically a and b m and n. So, these are exponents m and n are reaction orders. So, orders. So, generally uh, uh, the uh, uh, how much uh, number of uh, reactants are participating with each other in a particular reaction will give you 0 order, first order and second order respectively right. So, these exponents are m and n are reaction orders and are determined by experiments right. The value of m and n are not necessarily related in any way to the coefficient a and b. So, it does not have any direct relationship with the a and b these are the order of reactions basically. So, reaction orders a reaction has an individual order with respect to or in each reactant. For example, if one uh, substrate are participating in uh, reaction in order to give a product that means it is following uh, first order reaction right. So, the uh, reactants concentration is independent to the rate of reaction or giving the product end product that is considered under zero order kind of reactions. So, basically for the simplest reaction A will give the product. So, if the rate doubles when A doubles the rate depends on A and the reaction is first order with respect to A. That means, the product uh, 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 product uh, concentration is depending on the concentration of A will give you the first order reactions. If the rate uh, quadruplus when A doubles the rate depends on A uh, to the power 2 and the reaction is second order with respect to A. So, 2 times doubles the rate depends on the uh, so, if the rate when doubles the rate depends on and the reaction is considered to be uh, uh, second time for uh, second order reaction. So, this representation is the first order with respect to A and quadruplus my 4 times and the reaction is second order. So, 4 times increasing the uh, rate. So, that will be like second order reaction if the rate does not change when A doubles right the rate does not change uh, uh, along with its concentration that means, the reaction is 0 order with respect to A. So, if it is getting doubled uh, 
uh, uh, and the rate depends on the concentration of this particular A. So, that means, it is first order reaction, if it is like depending on this value, the rate will be second quadruples, quadruples and second order reaction, if it is the rate does not change, does not change, rate does not change depending on this A concentration, the reaction will be considered as zero order reaction with respect to A. So, determining reaction orders for the general reaction A plus 2 B will give C plus D. If we say that this is the reaction uh, of any particular product, the rate law will have the form what will be the equation to uh, do as per the rate law rate is equal to k this is the rate constant and a is a value a and b plus m and n these are what we say it. Uh, exponent these are ex exponent which is uh, uh, giving you the information about reaction orders. So, basically the this is the equation generally followed during uh, this simple general reaction. To determine the values of m and n, we run a series of experiment in which one reactant concentration changes while the other is kept constant and we measure the effect on initial rate in each case. So, generally to identify uh, the values of m and n that means a specific reaction orders. So, we generally run a series of experiments to analyze uh, which type of reactant is uh, changing and which is kept constant under particular temperature or uh, we can say pH or any kind of particular specific conditions, right. So, uh, uh, all, although we have uh, different different uh, uh, reaction conditions for different kind of substrates, but uh, how we can determine the reaction orders, we generally run a series and now uh, we uh, observe how much uh, reactants are participating in a particular reaction to get the desired product. So, uh, graphically it can be like series of plots of concentration versus time. So, concentration change basically uh, with respect to time is the rate of reaction. So, for identifying uh, the rate of reaction or order kinetic sorry order reaction orders, we generally run a series of experiments initial rates and reaction orders and then rate constant and actual rate law. So, this is the hierarchy we follow for identifying. So, determine slope of tangent at T 0 for each plot. So, basically uh, we are taking that time and concentration. So, uh, concentration and time. So, generally if we talk about uh, this point is considered as T 0 and T 1. So, compare initial rate when A changes and B is held constant. So, for example, uh, at point uh, some something we can say at A and B, A and B we say. So, at, as the time proceeds A is getting increased in terms of product and B is kept constant at this particular change rate. So, so we can say vice versa. So, substitutes initial rates orders and concentration into rate and we can put the values we are getting from the experiments and solve for k. So, we can identify k uh, using the concentration change per at particular time and we can put these value to identify uh, the constant rate, right. So, information sequences, these are the information sequences to determine the kinetic parameters of reaction. First, we run a series of experiments, then initial rates identify and then reaction orders we uh, have must have to uh, be put in this particular equation in, st uh, in place of m and n and then rate constant and actual rate law, right. To, so, finally, in order to analyze that rate constant, we follow different different parameters to be measured. So, units of the rate constant k for several overall reaction orders. So, what are the basic units? Uh, uh, so, overall reaction order like we have said that 0 order, first order, second order and third order. So, units of k 
t in seconds will be like mole per liter dot as seconds basically or mole uh, liter minus in uh, liter inverse second inverse. So, this can be represented as this also unit of k can be like l liters per mole order minus 1 unit by time. So, this is the order uh, we generally uh, it is following the reaction is following. So, we can put the values to identify the rate constant of a particular reaction. So, uh, order minus 1 that means, if uh, uh, like order minus 1. So, this has to be put here. So, first order is like 1 by second or second inverse, second order units of k will be in uh, L by mole per, uh, uh, per sec, uh, L by mole second and third order reaction uh, in third order reaction units of k in 10 uh, t in seconds basically we are uh, taking time in seconds not in minutes. So, uh, liter square by mole square into seconds. So, the value of k is easily determined from experimental rate data the units of k depend on the overall reaction order. So, basically the k uh, for first order reaction the unit will be like this if zero order reaction is there the unit of k will be uh, this. So, these are the units of k we are uh, uh, we have for different different uh, reaction orders. So, now after talking about uh, uh, rate constant values we talk about zero order reaction. So, in zero order reaction the reaction rate is independent that means, it does not depend on the concentration of reactant uh, present in the uh, uh, participating in the reaction. So, in zero order reaction the rate uh, re reaction rate is independent of the concentration of the reacting substance on re reaction rate uh, on the zero power of the reactant. So, right. So, example degradation of solution when solubility is the factor only the amount of drug that is in solution undergoes degradation. Basically, when we talk about the overall concentration. So, uh, if we say that drug is getting degraded uh, in the solution form that means, we are saying the solubilized type of uh, drug is getting degraded when present in uh, solubilized. The non solubilized drug will not get uh, degraded. So, this is the relationship T x is the concentration T is the time. So, k q is the 0 order coefficient or rate constant. So, first order reaction as the name suggests the rate depends on the concentration of one reactant. The rate equation is d x by d t basically is the rate of reaction k 1 a minus x. So, x is the concentration. So, integrating this equation with respect to time from t 0 to t t. So, at time 0 the reactant uh, the concentration will be uh, much higher at the time t because it is now getting changed to that particular uh, what we say product. So, this equation will be followed k 1 2.303 divided by t log a a minus x, where a is the amount of drug, where a is the amount of drug degraded at time t, x is the initial amount of drug, k 1 is the rate of reaction. So, basically k 1 is the rate of reaction, it is the concentration degraded initially and now uh, where a is the amount of drug degraded at time t. So, it is a initial concentration and the degraded concentration at time t. So, the how we can uh, this is how we can calculate the reactants concentration changing or uh, uh, degrading during the rate of reaction. So, rate of decomposition of a drug A is the change of concentration of A over a time interval t that is minus d uh, bracket square a by d t. So, note that this is a negative value because the drug concentration is decreasing. Yes, uh, we are saying that drug is getting decomposed that means, the drug is degrading from its uh, pure form. Now, the, the negative signs uh, uh, represent that its decomposition as the time increases. It is however, it is more usual to express the rate as d x by d t, where x is the amount of drug which has reacted in time t. So, x represent the concentration or the amount of drug 
generally we do not say amount when we measure the rate of reaction or any kind of reaction we uh, say in the concentration of drug uh, participated in uh, the reaction. So, uh, where uh, the, uh, so x is basically amount in terms of concentration uh, which has reacted in time t. So, this is how we usually identify first order reaction using this formula and it depends on the concentration of one reactant. So, first order uh, reaction basically it is a rearrangement of the previous equations gives. So, if we rearrange the previous equation we can we can have T is equal to 2.30 through k 1 log a 2.2 minus 2.303 divided by. So, this equation log a minus x. So, when we uh, rearrange the equation, so we can have this type of plot. So, log a this is concentration, this is time. So, uh, this is the slope representing the value of minus 2.303 k 1. So, comparing this equation uh, with y is equal to m x plus c. So, uh, basically uh, uh, x is the amount of a concentration of drug m and c are the uh, constant value and y is your absorbent and rate of reaction means we can say a plot of time t versus log a minus we get this equation. If we compare this equation with this, so we at the end we can get this slope value. So, slope will give you the value of the concentration of the reactants reacted in a particular type of reaction. Now, after first order kinetics, second order reaction as the name suggests the rate depends on the concentration of two reacting species like A and B. First order depends on the reacting species 1, whereas in second order reaction uh, it is usually depends on the uh, two reacting species. For the usual case where the initial concentration of A and B are different, the rate equation will be like d x by d t k 2, because 2 represent the 2 different reactants participating in the rate of reaction A minus x B minus x. So, uh, this is for one component reacting component and this is for second, where A is the initial concentration of A, B is the initial concentration of B. Right. So, these are the values which represent uh, initial concentrations of both the uh, reactants and x is the amount of drug decomposed or changed during the reaction. So, basically x is the value. Uh, so, it will give you the uh, variation or change in concentration level. So, x is the amount of drug change and in, in, these are the initial concentrations of A and B. So, now you can easily identify the uh, uh, we can say the concentration uh, at or uh, rate of reaction. Second order reaction basically integrating this equation with respect to time. So, at time we generally take these values at different time time intervals. So, at time 0 and time t when we expect that the all the reactants uh, in, uh, interacted with each other to give the desired product. So, we can say uh, we can uh, uh, take this equation to identify k 2 second order reaction 2.303 t a minus b uh, this is the log value b a minus x and a b minus x. So, rearranging this equation with the particular uh, this equation we can this is the basic equation we can have uh, we can put our uh, second order reaction and 2.303 k 2 a minus b log b minus, uh, divided by a. So, comparing this equation y is equal to m x plus c. So, we can have this slope value 2.303 uh, divided by k 2, because we are calculating uh, rate of reaction for uh, second order uh, type of uh, reactions. So, a minus b. So, basically k uh, 2 second order a minus b uh, slope represent the this uh, type of uh, this t and this is the concentration change log a minus x b minus x initial concentrations and the drug changed or degraded. So, uh, by taking the difference amount we can uh, have this type of slope in a particular when we plot uh, uh, these values and uh, this type of uh, plot we can have for second order reactions. 
So, rate versus time graph. So, uh, uh, I have uh, re uh, rearranged the, all the graphs in terms of rate and concentration. So, this uh, represents the rate uh, does not change for zero order reactions. So, you can see that this is constant, right. When we see that uh, when we talk about first order reaction, so rate de basically depends on the concentration of one. Uh, uh, one component or reacting uh, species and in second order it depends on the two reacting species. So, we will get the uh, increased rate of reaction a curve line. So, uh, this represent concentration and rate. So, concentration does not have any effect on the rate of reaction in zero order type basically first order and second order is a direct relationship. So, rate of reaction will be higher when the components react with each other. So, concentration when we talk about time and concentration. So, uh, zero order have the concentration this type of graph curve and first order this and second order also slightly curve. So, these are different different representations when we uh, do the experiment we will get this type of representation when while putting our experimental data to get the desired rate and concentration time profile curves. So, pseudo order uh, order uh, zero order reaction it is also uh, order uh, many drugs in the solid state decompose according to pseudo order rates as a reaction occur between the drug and moisture in the solid dosage form. So, pseudo order rate basically pseudo is a false we can say in general terms. So, pseudo order rates reaction occur between the drug and moisture in the solid dosage form. The system behaves as a suspension and because of uh, the presence of excess solid drug the first order reaction becomes a pseudo order uh, pseudo zero order rate and loss rate is linear with time. So, in some uh, cases uh, while uh, we identifying for uh, reaction rate for several dosage form. So, pseudo zero order reaction occurs between the drug and the moisture in uh, some sort of formulation for example, suspension solid dosage form. So, uh, what we in the equation we follow R is a d C A by d t k 1 C A in suspensions uh, of suspensions the concentration of d the aqueous phase remain constant that is saturated until the suspended drug particle are completely exhausted. Basically, suspension in suspension the drug concentration the aqueous phase remains uh, constant that is saturated until the suspended drug particles are ex completely exhausted. So, during this uh, using this equation we can identify pseudo zero order reaction kinetics. So, first uh, first order pseudo first order reaction kinetics. Uh, of pseudo first order reaction can be defined as a second order or bimolecular reaction that is made to behave like first order reaction. This happens when one reacting material is present in great excess or is maintained at constant concentration compared with the other substance. That means, if it one reacting uh, reactant is present in major proportion in the reaction and uh, uh, it is uh, constant and maintain and constant concentration that means, uh, concentration is not gradually increasing with uh, as compared to other substance. In that case pseudo first order reaction generally uh, follows under sur such circumstances the reaction does not exhibit a significant change in concentration because the mm, concentration is kept constant during the reaction. So, uh, during the degradative reaction. So, these uh, uh, these type of reaction generally follow pseudo first order reaction. Example hydrolysis of an ester the drug that obeys pseudo first order kinetics is cefoxtexam sodium. So, uh, this is the example of pseudo first order reaction. Now, integrated laws. So, uh, uh, when uh, an integrated law includes time as a variable. So, these are the different uh, representation of equations. So, so, first order basically we use this equation rate minus delta A divided by delta 
T. So, these are the change in concentration and change in temperature. So, by simplifying these, so for second order we have this much uh, this type of equation and for zero order we have this A uh, square bracket T minus A. So, at time 0 and at time T the uh, representation will be like this. So, graphical methods we say uh, when we, uh, we although we have discussed earlier, but integrated uh, like log values. So, integrated log uh, so, slope will be like minus k uh, for first order time and integrated amount. Length. This is this also represent the concentration change for first uh, first order. This is for second order. The slope uh, is like uh, downwards for the first order reaction, and this is the representation of uh, second order reaction integrated law as per integrated rate law, and for this uh, 0 order at 0 order that a 0 represent the order type of a reaction. So, these are uh, integrated and now reaction half life, the half life t for a reaction is the time taking for the concentration of reactant to drop half of its initial value. So, when uh, how much time uh, reactant is taking to reduce its half to its initial value for first order reaction T half does not depend on a, a starting concentration. So, the formula will be T half is equal to integration to k and the uh, value will be 0 0.693 divided by k. The half life of uh, for a first order reaction is constant basically. So, radioactive decay is the first order process. The half life of a radioactive nucleus is useful indicator for its stability. So, generally half life first order uh, in first order type of reaction is constant half life equation uh, for second order it is like inversely T half 1 by k second order process k uh, the final value will be k uh, bracket a keep, uh, square. So, uh, for a uh, zero order reaction T half is directly proportional to the initial concentration. So, this equation represents the half life for uh, second order reaction and this equation represents the half life for uh, zero order. So, using this equation we can calculate different kind of uh, orders. So, basically an overview of zero order first order simple second order reaction rate law will be like this representation units k mole second. So, uh, rate constant half life can be presented. So, this table represents what we have discussed earlier uh, in the session. So, these are references. I hope you uh, understand all the basic uh, rate laws and reaction orders and uh, why they are important for identifying different kind of parameters in reaction kinetics. So, in uh, our next session we will be discussing uh, with the same topic till then take care and stay safe. Thank